Does your foot hurt? Well, you might have plantar fasciitis. Contrary to its name, itis means inflammation, but plantar fasciitis is actually a degenerative disease of the fascia. It happens in about 10% of the people at some point in their lifetime, and it's more common in women from 40 to 60s. It's usually with pain here at the medial tuberosity at the calcaneus, usually worse in the morning, gets better as you move around throughout the day. It's that first step of the morning that hurts like hell. With recent increase in activity or if you change the shoes that you wear, sometimes it triggers it. On your exam, we'll press right here and usually it hurts a lot. And on an x-ray, sometimes you, sh you can feel or see a spur on that x-ray. Now it's not always correlated to the pain with the spur. Sometimes you have calcifications in that insertion site. Treatment of this, some doctors might offer a cortisone injection, which can decrease inflammation. However, you risk causing diminishing fat pad in that area and also damage the fascia with that cortisone injection. It is not recommended. The best thing you can do, other than taking some pain control, is stretch. And these are some stretches that you can do to stretch your gastrocnemius, which is your calves, and soleus muscles, which is another muscle that connects. The main problem with plantar fasciitis often is that flexibility at the ankle. If you can get that to loosen up, it takes away a lot of the tension that's probably on the fascia. Orthotics matter too. Get one of these orthotics that allow the arch, the arc of your foot to maintain. Physical therapy is always very helpful. They'll train you, they'll show you the proper way to stretch and exercise this fascia. Night splits can help when you, if you put on something that flexes your foot when you go to bed, you might feel a little bit better in the morning compared to that usual stiffness. Icing is always helpful as well.